when it comes to home invasion horror movies, I feel like there's always four or five that get sorely missed from the conversation, so let's talk about them. Dream Home is a Hong Kong slasher film. If you like gore and kind of extreme horror, this is your girl. It's about this woman. She's working two jobs in hopes of buying her own dream apartment with a view of the harbor. As a child, her family was evicted from their low-income housing to make way for development of more expensive flats in the area, and she found that one day she would purchase a flat of her own in this exclusive high-rise building. She finally raises enough money for that purchase, but the owners unexpectedly raise the price of the apartment after a stock market boom, which drives her to insanity she decides she's going to go to whatever lengths necessary to get her home, including murdering all the residents. Sam is a dark French horror film that actually helped inspire another successful home invasion movie to come after it, The Strangers, in 2008. This one from 2006 follows Clementine and Lucas, who live in an isolated country home. When strange noises abruptly wake them up, they find that their car has been stolen, the lights are shut off, and the phones have been disconnected. And this mysterious group of people are just beginning to terrorize them throughout the night. The story is actually loosely based on the real-life story of an Austrian couple who were murdered while vacationing in Romania. And this one's almost the polar opposite of dream home and that it thrives more on tension and atmosphere rather than explicit gore so it makes it more of a slow burn to some people but fans of the movie like the strangers i think will definitely appreciate this one now mike flanagan has obviously made his name in horror at this point but there are a few of his films that i still think get sorely overlooked by audiences one of them is oculus and the other one is hush hush is a different take on home invasion because it provides a very unique set of obstacles played by kate siegel this woman named maddie is a deaf and mute horror author who decides to retreat from the city and live alone in this isolated cottage in the woods her new home becomes a nightmare though when this masked attacker breaks in and unable to hear the intruder lurking in the shadows or even speak to call anybody for help she has to find a way to evade this person and save herself by taking away maddie's ability to hear flanagan uses sound and atmosphere really well in this film to ramp up the anxiety of hearing and seeing this hidden villain in ways that our main character can't so incident in a ghost land is a french film by the same director as martyrs which may honestly tell you most of what you need to know before you embark on this film it's a little controversial for a variety of reasons but the movie begins by introducing a woman named pauline and her two daughters beth and vera who just moved into a house inherited from their deceased aunt. During their first night in their new home, two psychopaths break in, causing Pauline to go to extreme measures to save her family. 16 years later, Beth has grown into a famous horror author, while Vera is trapped in her own childhood trauma and unable to cope. When Beth is called back to the family home that's still inhabited by her mother and sister, a series of strange events begin to occur, and the ghosts of her past return to haunt her. Incident in the Ghostland is one that begins as a fairly standard home invasion horror, but it morphs into something completely different and arguably way more sinister, with a really dark twist. Inside is arguably the most popular one on this list, but I will bring it up every fucking chance I get. This one's another French horror movie that's frankly driven by graphic violence and over-the-top feminine rage. The film begins with Sarah, a pregnant woman who tragically loses her husband in a car accident. Months later, it's Christmas Eve and the eve of the birth of her new baby. Despite concerns from family and friends, though, she decides to spend the night alone in her own home. The night turns violent when a mysterious woman shows up knocking at her door. Now, Inside falls squarely in the splatter horror genre, so if you're looking for gore, this is the one for you. Tell me in the comments some of your favorite underrated home invasion horror movies.